right, so I'm headed to work. It's about 7.10 right now, so I got ready in about 30 minutes-ish. Today's gonna be a long day, um, 8.30. Got a retail meeting with the team, so it's like eight or 10 brokers in the office, and we'll have some people on Zoom. And then after that, I got a tour with a wireless connections tenant. I can't really disclose who it is. Everything's pretty much confidential before things go. To a couple of tours, I think 10 or 12 tours. Yeah, exactly, 10 or 12 in one day. So we'll see how that goes. I got it all scheduled out. I'll show the schedule right now. They get two, three, four spots down in San Antonio, but we can go from there. So here's the front of CBRE where I'm always talking to the people that are up here. <laughs> and across the street is the Pearl, across from 281, a busy highway. It's a beautiful development. It's relatively new. It's been up in the past five years. And those are just some solar panels that we use, obviously, to get more energy from the sun. And now going to my favorite part of the office, the pantry, because you have my favorite thing in here, the very high class coffee maker. And this is pretty much my breakfast every single day. I mean, I don't really eat that much, but coffee and what you'll see next is my breakfast of choice. Goldfish, always baked and made with real cheese. So I'm always on that. I should probably change it up, but whatever. So this is the retail team meeting that we have twice a month where we look at the San Antonio market, look what's been leased up, look at the boxes that are available, help each other as a team and just gather just market research data as a whole. So we were getting like these deals from like sixteen, eighteen dollar deals that we're getting two percent inside. You have to like bang your head against so quick update, it's like 10.20. Let me go ahead and explain what's happened. So if you guys didn't know, I do three things at CBRE. I do retail leasing, I do land development and entitlements, and I do medical sales and investment sales. So retail leasing, I'm kind of you know by myself, but I work with some other brokers and we, we lease different spaces around San Antonio, you know, the, the normal stuff. Um, for entitlements, what's happened is, you know, you have land that is undeveloped and what you do is you kind of there's a whole checklist but you get the land ready to be sold there's a lot of things that you have to do so in order for land to be sold it has to have you know things on it so it can be built on so that's what entitlements is and that's kind of what i do and i did that with asha riley um for medical sales i work with scott herbert and ashley wells fantastic people but um, we sell medical office buildings around San Antonio and the greater Texas area. Those deals take a long time, but very rewarding. And we're starting to move more into regular office as well. So it's 1020, had the retail leasing meeting at 830. Um, had a just meeting with Ash Riley just for about 30 minutes. Um, been working on some Excel stuff for John Moak. Been trying to get the brokers together because actually the wireless connections tenant that we're going to tour later, he missed his flight this morning. So I had to reach out to 12 brokers and reschedule those meetings and kind of move some things around. But we should be good for now. And uh, we're going to get back into it here at about one o'clock. Um, we'll start touring. So until then, I'm going to go back and work on the Excel that I was working on with John Moak. Send some emails and keep it pushing. So we just put up the chilies. Um, oh shit. <laughs> I didn't put my car in part. Anyways, anyways, what it is, but chilies, I just wanted something quick and something very simple. I didn't want to do anything too extravagant. We didn't want to try anything new. So I had you guys up after lunch, and then we get started with these tours. Hopefully these tours go good. Um, you know, there's a little bit of a time crunch, but hopefully we, we can figure it out. I don't know, we'll see. So in this section of the video, I'm just gonna give you guys some knowledge on how 
you know, companies choose their retail locations and how they succeed. So our first step, or our first stop is the 1604 Calabria intersection. It's a really dense intersection that's growing, you know, it has good demographics. And one thing about this tenant is they were really big on pylon signage. As you can see, we're pointing out that pylon sign in the background. But um, this tenant was really big on pylon signage and it's really a lot more important than you would think it is. Um, this is the first space. I thought this was a good space. It's right in between Burlington and HEB. Um, it's good visibility, um, good parking, but there is just some things that I'm not gonna disclose that the, the tenant didn't like. So I think they passed on this property, but we're gonna continue to move on. So the next stop was Calabra Commons, um, still on 1604 uh, Calabra intersection. This is a really good space. It's where they play Fortnite, Dungeons and Dragons and all that. They got uh, hit really hard because of COVID. So that's why they're not in here anymore. But the tenant really didn't like these spaces just because it wasn't grocery anchored. I mean, there are grocery stores in the area, but it wasn't in this center specifically. So there wasn't a lot of visibility and wasn't a lot of draw to this area. So they ultimately passed on these two locations that I'm about to show. But this was a really cool space. I mean, I mean, it looks cool. I would have gone here. So this is the third space, this is Westwood Center. It's a pretty good center. Um, good pylon signage, good parks. Grocery anchored by Dollar Tree, and I think there's a Target adjacent to this, you know, over there. Um, the first space is second gen uh, dental, so the tenant would have to come in and gut this place and pretty much just fix it up, and it would cost a lot of TIs, which are tenant improvements. Um, so it would be pretty expensive for the tenant to move into a spot like this. But the next space is, um, a shell and what that means is it's just kind of empty space as you can see here so this was pretty good uh, this is a good space uh, it's the same center so same park same dollar tree same target etc cetera, etc cetera. so this is you know it was all right but i guess it wasn't just great for the tenant to want to pick so the next stop was petranco and russo which is a couple miles down 1604 from where we were just at um, this is a relatively new development shopping center um, about a year ago it was still breaking ground but now there's, you know, shops up, there's nice red roofs, there's a TJ Maxx, a Home Goods, Costco, PetSmart. You know, you got some good anchors here that, you know, drive the traffic up around here. There's good parks, good visibility in the pylon signage. And, you know, this, this space, that space right there checked all the boxes, about 2,600 square feet. The only thing the tenant didn't like is all these trees that are around. And the reason why is because when these trees grow up, they're gonna eventually block signage and they're they're wanting, you know, five, 10 year leases. So they didn't want their signage to be blocked at all, but that's just a minor, minor thing. So our next space is on Southwest Military, which is on the uh, Southeast side of San Antonio. It's a really, really, really dense trade area. I've never seen a street so packed. I wish I could have shown you, but I didn't get any footage of that. But this right here is a pretty good trade area. They've been trying to get into this trade area for a long time, just haven't found the space. And we think we found it with this. This is an old, this is the shopping center is called Allison's Corner. But um, this, this is about 4,000 square feet. It's an empty shell. Um, it's pretty much perfect for what they're trying to do. It has great visibility to the street, great parks in a shopping center, got anchors. Um, we think we did really good with this space and we think they're gonna really take this space to the next level. This next space is in Terrell Heights, which is on the you know the west side of the CBD Central Business District, and we're on the Harry Wurzbach Austin Highway intersection. This is a good space. Um, I think we're looking at an old CC's Pizza, which is one of my favorite restaurants. But there'd be a lot of TIs, and there, this space just didn't look like it would work out for uh, a wireless connections tenant. Even though it could work out, it would just be a lot of effort, and we had a lot of other options. This next space, 1432, was, was a really good one. It had signage on all three sides. It was up on a hill, good visibility. Walmart grocery anchored. Um, it was being leased by my friend Joe. So this was a really good space. I just, I just don't think they liked the location of this intersection, even though they named it as one of their intersections of interest. Um, this is an old Payless store, as you can see. Um, it could easily be gutted, but uh, that is not the direction the tenant wanted to go. But yeah, this is just the nature of being a broker. I mean, you kind of go on a lot of wasted trips. At this point, we had done like seven or eight tours. So it was time to head back to the office because it's about 4.45 and reconvene for the next day. About to go study for this test. See you at home. Boom, bam. 
So it's five o'clock, just getting off work. Got off work a little bit early today just because I have a test I'm studying for. Not gonna tell you guys what test I'm about to take on Thursday morning, but stay tuned for that. But today was pretty cool. Um, you know, there was a little curveball, but that's kind of what happens in real estate, especially in the business world that I'm in right now. So I thought that was amazing. He liked some of the spots, he didn't like some of the spots, but we have some to do tomorrow. It was a pretty good day. Um, I think I'm gonna throw in a workout today, probably like a four mile and then study, or maybe switch those study and then throw in a four miler and then go to sleep. So I'll see you guys when I get home. Doing the review on here, two black kings in the back. This is a little studio set up, map of San Antonio of, you know, where I do, you know, my editing, Excel work and other work that I need to do for work. Um, or for anybody else, I did papers or whatever. So this is kind of my night. Um, I'm probably gonna say it's around 10 o'clock, then I'm gonna head to bed. So I'll see you guys after that. And what's up guys? We're gonna go ahead and finish the day off. Um, it's like 12 o'clock, 11.30, something like that. Um, study today, did a whole bunch of tours, a whole bunch of stuff. Now just chilling in the bed, watching YouTube. So this has been a day in life for a retail broker. I hope you guys know what I do. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.